This video is part of a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the uh, doobly-doo. Ooh, got something, got colors. Ha ha, there it is. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and if you enjoy learning about electronics by building goofy projects, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. The subscribe button, big red button right there. And for now, rally ho! This is the Adafruit RA8875 driver board. It is a SPI serial parallel interface driver board for uh, like a 40-pin TFT screen. It's built around the Rayo RA8875 chip, uh, which can drive uh, up to a, like an 800 by 400 display based off of a microcontroller, which in this case we're going to use the uh, Arduino Uno. It's got a few other niceties on here. It's got backlight control. It has a uh, regulated power supply so you can run 3 to 5 volts in nominally and it will also regulate 3.3 volt out in case you needed that for like a separate uh, touchscreen controller that Adafruit also uses. I'm going to be using this as part of Project Color Time as the driver for the main LCD screen that's going to display whatever color coordinates with whatever uh, time it is in hexadecimal. So that's where I'm putting this together. So let's go ahead and get this wired up and make sure we know how it works and then we'll be able to incorporate it into the project later. Okay, let's take a look at the parts we're going to need to put this together. Of course, we're going to use our breadboard, our programming lappy, and a set of jumper wires. We have our Arduino Uno, 800 by 480 TFT screen, not a touch screen, even though this board is compatible with touch screens, but I'm not gonna use it for this particular project. And then the RA8875 driver board and its associated header pins. Okay, so it's a pretty simple wiring schematic and I'll, I'll put a copy of this in the show notes in the doobly-doo. But essentially all you're doing is just connecting power ground to their respective pins on the Arduino. And then you're connecting the uh, SPI interface to their respective pins on the Arduino as well. Uh, so really the only pins that are mandatory are 11, 12, and 13, which are uh, Mazi, Mizo, and Clock respectively. The rest of the pins, the interrupt, chip select, and reset pins can actually be uh, assigned in the sketch itself. So we're using the hardware spy interface and we're redefining some of the other pins in software so that's really all you have to do on this side i'm not wiring up a touch screen so i don't have to use any of this down here uh, and i'm not using a backlight control so i uh, don't really have to worry about that pin either and then of course on this side we just connect our 40 pin ribbon cable up to the screen now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo sketch Okay, so just a very quick run through of the demo sketch here. This is the build test demo sketch uh, from the Adafruit library. First off, we're going to include the SPI library. That's a standard Arduino library. Then we're going to have the Adafruit graphics library, as well as the Adafruit RA8875 libraries included. And I'll put links to everything down in the show notes in the doobly-doo so you can uh, take a look at those. Like I said earlier, this board uses the three hardware SPI uh, interface pins, uh, 11, 12, and 13, Mozzie, Miso, and Clock, uh, to be specific. But you can redefine the interrupt, the chip select, and the reset pins. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the setup of this particular sketch. It's mostly just... Uh, checking to make sure that the board is there and that the board works and then it spits out the status of the board on the serial monitors. So we're not really going to be using that very much, at least not in my project. So we're going to kind of skip over a lot of this just to make sure it works. But what I do want to look at is this little bit right here. These lines make up a sample drawing uh, that is defined by individual pixels within the functions. For example, we're going to draw a circle 
that has a center of 100-100xy uh, and a radius of 50 and then define that color as black. Now this is all using the Adafruit graphics library. Uh, so you'll find more information about that. We're not really going to like dive into it too deep in this video, but I will put more information about it in the show notes down in the doobly-doo. Now to draw a rectangle, you're going to define the lower left corner of the origin. Uh, so in this case, uh, 10, 10, X, Y, and then you're going to define the width and the height in pixels and then the color, uh, in this case, green. Drawing a line is as simple as defining two XY coordinates, in this case, 10, 10, XY, and 200, 100, XY. A triangle is defined by three individual coordinates, 215, 250, 100, and 150, 125, and then the color that it's going to draw the, the lines with, the line segments. We're not really going to look at the loop section of this particular code either, just because it's more set up for um, touch screen and uh, I'm not using a touch screen here, so it's really not relevant, uh, but it would uh, define where it was touched. It would, it would detect where the touch was and then draw a circle where that touch was. Now let's upload the sketch and take a look at what we got. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, got something, got colors. Ha ha, there it is. All right, fantastic. So now we can define simple shapes and color them on a TFT screen using the Arduino with the spy interface. So all of that works. And now we can take this and we can apply it to a bigger project that you're going to see a little bit down the road. So make sure you stay tuned for that by subscribing, hitting the bell thingy, whatever. Uh, connect with me on the social media over here. Uh, here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. And if you want to learn more about the Arduino platform, check out the playlist right down here. For more about this project, check the show notes that are probably somewhere right around here. My name is Atari, and until next time, remember, it's okay. It's just a prototype. Tally-ho, y'all.